Check out this insane Prado build. We have done so much to this vehicle. We've done bull bar, winches, UHFs, roof racks, solar panels, drawers, everything. This thing is insane. Even drop down side steps. So I've got Cray here to help me go through it all because there is so much. I know both of us are probably going to forget something, but um, let's have a run through. So we'll start at the front on this one, Craig, because um, I think we're going to have to walk our way through and pick stuff as we go. What do we got? So we got off-road animal Toro bull bar. This one's been colour coded, same colour as the car in the lovely graphite colour. Um, this one, this vehicle's a VX, so it has all the park sensors, radars, everything like that. That all integrates back into these bull bars. Also behind the bull bar, we've got a Bush Ranger 12,000 pound Revo winch yep. with a synthetic rope. Um, these ones have got the wireless remote. You can still plug in a wired remote if you need to in case your batteries ever go flat so you're never going to be stranded. That obviously provides a nice easy uh, means of winching if you need to. Steady light, so the customer has opted for the Steady Type X Pros. They're Steady's top of the range lights, super bright, pretty good price point too, and they fit the off-road animal bar super nicely. All right, um, well, let's keep going on the bull bar. What, what do we got this? Yep, so antennas. Obviously, you can see there's two antennas. This one mounted up here in the bull bar is for the Selfie Go we've fitted, which yep. is a phone signal booster. So the customer can have, obviously, boosted reception in the middle of nowhere. Um, on this GMF bonnet bracket, the back here is for the UHF. So we'll go into that a bit more detail later. Um, but that is, yeah, the UHF antenna there. Alrighty, so I guess moving up the good segue from the Selfie, what have you wired the Selfie to? Yep, so the Selfie, along with all the accessories in the back, which we'll run through in a second, are all wired to an auxiliary battery system we've put in this vehicle. So we're running an Invicta 100 amp hour lithium battery with Bluetooth, so the customer can monitor um, on their phone what's going on with the battery, and that is being charged via Red Arc. BCDC 1240, um, which is mounted in behind the grill here to keep it nice and cool. So I guess from there, let's um, shut the bonnet. That's pretty much the go under here. What do you reckon? Should we go down the, should we stay with the, oh, let's run down the side and yeah, we'll check out the side. The side. All right, so here we are on the side. Now, I used to have these on my 79. I reckon they are so much better than the gimmick you think they are. They are the greatest thing ever. Check them out. What have we done, Craig? Yep, so Ooh. these are the T-Max side steps. Obviously, auto fold out, open the door, doesn't matter front, back, left or right. Um, the corresponding side will fold out. Makes it super easy to get into the car. Yeah, awesome. I love them. They're actually really good and they're great for your mum with a bung hip. Um, all right, up the top here, let's do the roof rack while we're here. There's a fair bit going on up there. What do we got? Cool, cool. So for this one, we've gone with Old Faithful. We've gone for the Rhino with the backbone mounting system, which is obviously the strongest mounting system that Rhino do. Um, mounted to that, we've got a range of accessories. We'll start with the awning. So we've got the another Old Faithful, Rhino Rack Batwing 180, sorry, um, 270? 270 degree awning. 270 all the way around. Runs all the way around to the back of the vehicle. Um, mount to the very front of the roof rack, we've got the steady uh, light bar up there, the 40 inch steady light bar. On the side we've got left and right rock lights, which actually mount into the base rack. Now these are the steady rock lights. Um, have also got up on top, which we'll show you later, the 120 watt red arc solar panel, which is feeding straight back into the BCDC to charge that lithium battery under the bonnet. Um, also got... Uh, the tank? Yeah, yeah the water tank. So water tanks mounted up there to offer an animal plastic water tank, which is going to be fed by a customer supplied pump. And we've also got obviously steady work lights coming off the rear as well. So we have a really good vision all around the vehicle at night uh, for camping and for the hitching up the caravan, etc. cetera. Um, yeah. yeah, they're covered all around. Yeah, awesome. And all those lights, where are they switched? Yep, so I they're all know. switched inside the cab. Cool, we'll on, get to that. On factory style um, push button switches. So it all matches into the dash super nicely and they will run off of the auxiliary battery. Cool, well I guess um, any tourer in a wagon, it's all about the back. So let's go have a look at the back next, guys. All right, so we're around the back here. Obviously, you can see the anodized blue of the MSA, but there is so much we have crammed, well, the guys have crammed into this drawer set that I'm gonna back away and let this Craig go for it because it's crazy. Wait till you hear what's in here. Rightio. Obviously, first thing you see, if Andrew mentioned, lovely set of MSA alloy drawers. 
So super nice and lightweight, super robust, um, really nice and smooth. These guys have got the inbuilt LED light as well. So you pull the drawer out full extension on both sides, the LED strip on both sides. So at night time, you can see exactly what's in your drawers. You're not trying to fumble around and, and uh, stab in the dark. On top, customer supplied 75 litre Dometic dual zone fridge freezer. Uh, obviously we've supplied and fitted the MSA drop down fridge slide with that one as well. So just simply pull out and drops down, super nice and easy so you can easily access everything inside your fridge. So all the magic happens all nicely tucked in behind here. So in behind here, we've crammed in the ARB twin cylinder air compressor, the big four litre air tank as well, all in behind the factory panel so you can't see it at all. It's taking up completely wasted space. We've also got a, so the full airbag man airbag system with onboard inflation. So we've got the gauge here, which tells you pressures in each bag left and right. And they're all easily adjusted by a couple little paddle switches here, obviously along with the ARB compressor switch just down here. Now yeah, super nice and easy to adjust up and down, obviously when you have the caravan hitched up um, so you can get away and you know that you're gonna be set to the right pressures. Right, tire inflation, obviously powered by the ARB twin cylinder compressor. Um, have the ARB air chuck there, same thing, nice convenient location. Uh, we can plug the of six meter ARB hose in nice and easily, run around to all the tires on the vehicle, and then you can also get another six meter extension to do the van too if you need to. These twin cylinder compressors have got heaps of guts, um, standard full drive size tire like what's on this at the moment, um, from 18 to 40 psi in about a minute per tire. Super quick, super reliable, um, it's a no-brainer. Over in this side, off the dual battery system under bonnet, we've got all the standard selection of sockets that you might want. So we've got two 12 volt six sockets to run all your extra camp lights and little bits and pieces. We actually have a USB A and USB C socket now. Obviously a lot of phones these days are going to that USB C, so it's really important to have one of those in there off the second battery so it can be charged any time. And the red Anderson plug flush man down on the top for solar input. So the customer ever wishes to add a bit of extra solar to their existing system, um, they can just plug a blanket straight in, unregulated, and it'll help top that battery up super quick. Hey guys, well, yeah, here we are, squished, three of us in the front, we love it. Um, all right, so heaps going on in here. I don't know, start from the top, what do we got? Righto, from the top, outback roof console. Um, obviously LED lights, replacing the standard interior lights that would have been there from uh, the factory little console that's there. Obviously gives you heaps of storage up here for all your little knickknacks. Um, nice and easy tucked away in there. Also a great place to house the UHF. Um, UHF, the customer's gone for on this one is the Uniden UH9060. Um, so everything on the handpiece, microphone, speaker, um, all your controls, everything on there. Obviously running through the Uniden antenna on the bonnet mount bracket. Um, we've done a full lithium system in this customer's caravan as well. Um, and as part of that, we fitted a uh, camera system. So this here is a screen to run the camera system. Um, so that's full safety day screen, two channels. And um, being such a big reverse camera here, we haven't really run a reverse camera to it. It's purely for the caravan sitting up there. What do you reckon, Craig? Is there anything we missed? Yeah, I guess the only other thing probably worthwhile mentioning oh, is the of switches. course the switches. So Come as, on cameraman, zoom in on here. As we were discussing before, all the switches we've put in here are designed to look factory. Um, so obviously the rear work light switches, left and right rock lights on the roof rack and over the other side have got the spotlight override, which by law you have to have. Same thing with the front light bar on the roof rack as well down here. So we've actually used up all the spare switch blanks, but it makes it super nice and tidy. Um, and yeah, for a factory look, it's meant to be. All right, well, last but not least, I guess any good touring vehicle, wheels and suspension. What have we done? Rightio, so wheels and tyres, RAH rims wrapped in the Falcon Wild Peaks. Really good tried, tested tyre, really good all rounder. They're not noisy, they're not annoying, they don't wobble, and they still give you a good aggressive pattern from the 
going does get a bit crappy. Um, and yeah, just a really good all round, well wearing tire. Um, suspension wise, so we've gone for the full Petters 3500 kilo GVM upgrade. Um, so the guys at Petters, worked with them really closely. And yeah, they've done the full upgrade to this vehicle. So it's front suspension, rear suspension, and the blue plate as well to obviously make it all legal for all this extra weight we put on the vehicle. What do we got? Radio. We went with the TJM AirTech Snorkel. These ones fit the Prado super nicely. A little bit sleeker looking than the old school Safaris with the forward facing ram. The air ram actually comes up and across the windscreen. Keeps it more discreet. Looks really good. Well made snorkel. Yep. Also got MSA towing mirrors on this one too. Obviously towing mirrors are just a necessity for anyone with a caravan, anyone going touring full time like these guys are. These ones are exceptional. Pull out, roll out, so I can get that field of view all the way out. And then when they fold it all the way back in, they don't look out of place. They're not big, they don't look ugly. They just work extremely well. Yeah, right, so I think that sort of wraps us up on this one. We got everything? That's about it. Yeah, fantastic. As you can see, insanely amount of work our guys have put into this thing, and everything has come together so well. So I'm super proud of how well Craig's managed this and put the parts together, just to make a really nice looking touring vehicle. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to chuck us a like, subscribe, check out other touring builds up here, and YouTube reckons you should watch this down here.